And in fact, that's uh, one of the things I must mention about your grief. When you are grieving a person who passes and you are not actually, when I say grieving, I'm not actually saying you're experiencing the emotions of grief, but rather you're holding on to the emotions of grief. That is a huge projection at the person who's passed. And when that happens, the person will feel impelled to come to you. There's actually a cord that establishes, an energetic cord that establishes that you can see in the spirit world between the two of you. And so what happens is that this cord that comes out of you, this, this, of this grief, gets projected at the person you're grieving. And, it, and if they're open to it, which most people are, they, they, it, that will enter them. And when they wake up from their sleep, and sometimes when you pass there is a period of sleep, what will happen is they'll wake up and they'll feel automatically drawn to come back to you because you're grieving and they'll try to convince you to not grieve because they feel they're still alive, right? And, uh, and often it's the grief that causes many people on earth to remain earthbound. It's the grief that you hold within yourself, the people who are surviving them on earth hold within themselves. So my suggestion is to allow yourself to feel that grief fully rather than to project it at the person, wanting them back. Because every time you want them back, you're actually stopping them from living their life in the spirit world. They'll feel drawn to come back to you unless they've healed a lot of their emotion. They'll feel drawn to come back to you. And the truth is for most people, they haven't healed very much emotion when they pass. And so most of them will be heavily drawn to come back to you.